Hey guys, welcome back to Snow Catch Name. It's me, Ella, and today is episode number 90. Hey guys, welcome back. Jesse is right here with me. <laughs> He's sitting over there playing. So if you hear him in the background, you'll hear him in the background. I moved my craft room around a little bit, so um, different angle. You can see my dishwasher out <laughs> back there drying. But yeah, I'm going to go ahead and hop in. I got some finished objects and some whoops to share with you guys today and some acquisitions and some happy mail and just a little bit of everything. So I'm going to go ahead and hop in and try to get everything done so that I can finish cleaning and stuff like I have to do today. My first um, finished objects, because there's more than one, comes from the Whimsical Stitches book that I got a couple weeks ago from Amazon. It was It's on sale still. It's like $9 now instead of 8 But my sister got this for me, actually. Did I say I got this? I can't remember. My sister got it for me. But I got it, like, from her a couple weeks ago. I'm trying to say. But I did two of them because it's the cupcakes. I did two little ones and two of the big ones. And they have the pattern in here for both sizes. Alright, so even their little cupcakes are kind of on the big side because it's all bigger and McGroomy. So these are the first two that I made. with scraps of buff, I think. And this is a uh, pumpkin with just uh, sprinkles made with random colors. And this is a whole yarn itself. I can't remember what it's called. As yarn, it was gifted to me, but I had to scrap all of it, and so I just made the whole cupcake out of it. I thought it was cute. And then I made two of the big ones, and these are big. Got a blue one. It's, he's a little out of shape because he's been sitting on the table. And then the pink one. The, this is the first one I made, and the eyes are too far apart, but that's okay. It's a learning. I put eyelashes on this one and none on this one. This big giant cupcakes for the craft fair okay my next finished object was something my sister asked me to make for her so um she sent me the link she found it somewhere i guess but it's called the candy corn amigurumi by grace and yarn it's a free pattern so it's just an amigurumi candy corn <laughs> and it's got a face on it and it's all just red heart super saver i think oh, bright yellow white and pumpkin what that candy corn looks cute yeah it is cute isn't it but that's for my sister whenever I see her again. She just left yeah, here and I for forgot your about sister, it. Actually. Yeah. And then my last finished object is a jellyfish. Uh, that one looks funny. Yeah. It's called Jellyfish by One Dog Wolf. <laughs> it's funny. It's a free pattern on their website or you can buy the PDF. But it's really simple. But those rays look stretchy. Yeah, they're kind of stretchy. Like a spring goes bounce, 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 yeah. bounce, 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 bounce. But the color is red heart green tones. I like the color. Yeah, I do like it though. But I finished this one. That doesn't work well. I made this yesterday <laughs> while watching Jesse play outside. I love these patterns because the head is easy, the little bottom part is easy, and then these curly cues. You just chain as many as you want and then, you know, do the curly cue pattern all the way down. And make tentacles. Yeah, love well, that pattern. I'm making another one. That's actually one of my whips, which I'm about to show you. All right, I only have two active whips, and they're both for the craft fair. One is another jellyfish. <laughs> uh. I just started it. And this yarn, I'm not sure what it is. It was, I got, got it at a thrift store. I got two balls of it. So, are you trying to get in the camera? Yeah. There you are. <laughs> but uh, it's yeah, really pretty. I, I think they look nice and like watery toned. And so I'm going to maybe make two jellyfish out of this and then maybe move some move on to another pattern and make something else with it. But I don't know. That yarn looks funny. Yeah. That's okay. Okay, hey, go in the living room and get that ghost. That's oh. on the mantle. That's gonna be scary. Go grab it off the mantle. My next whip is a ghost. It's called Ghost Boo by on the mantle up here. By, um, this one? Yep, Diana Patskin. I don't know how to say that, <laughs> but it'll be linked below. Uh, I just got its head so far, <laughs> but uh, Jesse's, yeah, hand it to mama. Good job, thank you. It's this pattern. I made this one two years ago, I think, but I'm making it different. I'm gonna make the ghost white, and instead of the hat, I'm gonna make the bow orange or yellow and put it up here like a girl, and probably put um, eyelashes. And then all the bits that is brown, I'm uh, probably going to do orange. And then all these yellow and the shoes are going to be um, 
these orange. <laughs> They're gonna be yellow and orange. It's gonna be a candy corn ghost, is what I'm trying to say. So I'm just gonna change the colors and I'm also gonna make it girly by putting the bow on the head and eyelashes. But it's the same exact pattern. I love this little ghost. It's super cute and easy. And yeah, so I just started that yesterday, yeah. I think. That one's an easy ghost. Yeah, I love this ghost. He's so cute. Whoop! Back up. He's a little he has a little heartbeat. He has a heartbeat? Yeah. Here, will you hold it for mama? Or go put it back on the mantle? I'm just gonna hold it. Okay, thank you. So that's that ghost. It's just a head. It looks funny. So. I love your real ghost. Okay, that's actually all my whips and my finished objects. I didn't have a lot this week just because it's life and busy. But um, I'm closing in on the date for my craft fair, so I gotta get stuff done. And I did get everything priced that's already finished, not these items, because I didn't have all these finished. But, um, so I'm, I'm trying to keep up with that so that I'm not freaking out the week before. But now I'm going to show you acquisitions. I got quite a few acquisitions. Uh, we went to Joann's on Sunday, and I got some clearance yarn, and I got another book, and I also got fabric. But it's already cut and stuff, so I'm not going to show it. <laughs> You'll see it whenever I update the shop. But first I got Zoomer Drumy 7. Which is the one with scraps in it, which I made last year. Let me find it. Where are you? There it is. Scraps, the seagull. I made him last year. It was The pattern was gifted to me. But I really wanted this duck pattern because I've been wanting to make some ducks. And uh, I like most of the patterns in here. And I love, 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 love. Cheryl the chicken. She is so cute. So I'm going to be making some of these soon, hopefully. I think these are all the ones that's in there. Not all of them because the duck's not on there. But the duck comes with both patterns. The little duck and the big duck. But I got that and it was 20% uh, off, I think. And then I got these yarns. All the yarns were, on the clearance yarns were 25% off of the clearance price. So I got all these Mandela uh, Thick and Quicks. And I thought I could make hats out of these as well. I got it. But it's just Mandela Thick and Quick, and it, this color is Tidal, which is really pretty. Tidal. Tidal. Like water. Tidal. Water. And then I got two. I know <laughs> This is horrible. Like yeah. Ocean. These ones are called Garden Maze. Yeah. Water is way full of bucket of water. Yeah. It gets into ocean. Does it? Right. Splat. Like make muddy puddles. Okay. And then I got four of pinwheel. But they each have 80 something? Yeah, 87 yards. So I thought that'd be good for hats. Um, it says right here that one ball makes a hat. So I think they're cute, so we'll see. Okay, and then I got some Happy Mail. And uh, some of it's just Happy Mail and one of it's something that I ordered. So I got one Happy Mail from uh, Shell Shell Crochet. And it's Shell. The first shell is like the end of my shell. C H E L L E and a shell, like you know, seashell <laughs> crochet. She's got a YouTube channel, but she sent me a letter and some uh, amigurumi patterns from one of those calendars that has patterns in it. So she sent me the snowman right there, and then there's an owl, and the last one, or no, there's two more a robot hat, which I'm gonna make for Jesse. Can we see and this robot's hat? an elephant. Hold on, let me. Right there. Uh, Isn't that cool? <laughs> I was trying to wonder why I have that. Yeah. I'll make you one, okay? Soon. Yeah, I'm making <laughs> and then today one. I got another postcard. Oh, what, oh God, I thought he slid. Another postcard today from Erica. Well, I, just want to go I don't think she has a channel. We'll go outside in a little bit when it cools off a little bit more, okay? We'll shoot for like six o'clock when it's not so hot. Okay, now I. But I love this. It. I love getting any kind of mail, snail mail. I used to do pen pal stuff a lot when I was younger, and so it's always fun just to get mail, even if there's no Mama, gifts I've in it. Six. This is six. Yeah, that's six. That's what we mean to get to six. And then I ordered a bag from Kim the uh, crafting. This is what I Shush, <laughs> Kim the crafting Shush. nomad. That's the order stuff. I don't need that. She sent a little card, you know, just thanking me. And um, she also sent me an extra thing. So here's her business card. I'll try to remember to link her and Shell Shell down below. And a stitch marker with a donut on it. 
But this is what I ordered. It's a Mary Grinchmas bag. And it is a box bottom. It's a zipper bag. The inside is like a uh, paisley bandana. And there's her label. Her shop is called Ebony Pearl Creations by Kim. But on YouTube, she is... Oh gosh, I can't remember if it's Kim Pettis or... I can't remember. <laughs> I always forget. But she, I'll link her below. I love her. She's one of those channels that I always go and watch when she uploads. There's, you know, we watch everybody, but there's some people that we always just go straight to when they upload. And she's one for me. But I love my Grinch Miss bag because I love Grinch Miss. I know. He's outside sleeping, ain't he? The neighborhood cat's on our porch. But this is cool because this is like a handle, but I could also take it off and use it like as a key fob thing. So I could have my keys. <laughs> I can't get it open. Why am I spazzing? on my wrist and I actually wanted to make some of these I gotta get some of these things I don't know what they're called so if you know what these fixtures are called let me know but I love this bag I can't wait to use it be careful with that is this a big box? yeah it's what daddy's guitar came in mommy's gonna use it she's gonna craft with it but she also sent me a half a yard of this cute dog print which just happens to be enough to make a project bag and what an ocean it? it's empty oh. it's, it's what daddy's guitar came in the mail in don't knock it over because it's heavy. It's a big old box up there. I'll show you that in just like the craft thing. But I think that's all my happy. I think you mean to turn that around. I won't just like okay, I'm gonna finish talking first. I just wanted to remind everybody also of the Halloween cow. Come here, you wanna sit on mommy's lap? But you gotta not talk, okay? Oh god, you're so heavy. The Halloween cow is going strong. There's been a lot of entries so far on mine and Amber's Facebook group, and all that stuff will be linked below. Uh, it ends on October the 18th, so you still got plenty of time to enter. Yeah. Yeah. And there's going to be a, a winner from my group and Amber's group. So they get prizes. Yeah. Yeah. That's so cool, huh? There and are no prizes. The way you get to win is it turns into prizes. Yeah. And you get prizes the way you get to the real prize. It makes it into prizes. Wow. That's so cool. And also, I wanted to remind you guys, my Etsy shop started yesterday to the... 25th I think 20 something uh, everything in the shop patterns and bags are 15% off huh what's that bank it's just part of the tripod what does it do it uh, moves the camera can we see no not right now <laughs> but yeah so everything in the Etsy shop is 15% off until sometime next week I kind of forgot when it if goes you're interested, up check and it down, out up and down. there's some bags on there and I got a bunch of bags cut over there I'm gonna make uh, about some new prints at Joann's. Don't kick that. <laughs> some of them are really cool. I can't wait for you guys to see them. But I'm also gonna show you something real fast. Okay, the reason I've been collecting cardboard and I have big boxes over here and some over here, and I had a whole bunch from Happy Mail that I've already cut up. And I spent two hours the other day watching The Simpsons cutting up and hot gluing. Is I found this picture on the internet when I was looking up risers for tables for craft fairs. I thought that looks pretty simple, so I'm gonna try to make that myself. So here's my first draft of one. They're not cut even, but it's not a big deal because I'm gonna be wrapping it in fabric or wrapping paper. But it's just a riser. I don't have any of my little emigrants. Pretend these are emigrants. But it's so when you have this on a table, you could put stuff in layers, and then there would be one on the table also sitting there. So see, there's like three layers of emigrants or whatever, and um, this one's small this way but I got some big cardboard boxes Devin got a guitar in that I'm gonna be cutting up and trying to make a couple more of these whoops watch out and I found a dollar store craft if I can remember I will link that below too it's a quick video it's like three minutes of you take a pie tin and a cake tin and a candle holder that you can all get at like the Dollar Tree you spray paint them and hot glue them together and it makes like a two-tier um, shelf thing and I thought that would be cute too because you could even like bedazzle the 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 tins, <laughs> the, the lips of them, so that it would be more fancy or whatever. Stop. Because I'm trying to find stuff for the craft fair that isn't high cost. Because uh, the more money you put into a craft fair, the less your profit is at the end of the craft fair, if that makes any sense. But, so this is my first one. I will show it to you guys again once I get it uh, wrapped <laughs> and made it look a little bit more presentable. But I'm hoping they work because they're pretty light and it would be easy to... Um, carry you know and you know to the craft fair and all that without having to deal with putting things together and taking them apart and all that jazz that's why i've been hoarding cardboard 
Now I think that is everything this time. Come here. Watch out. Oh, hey. gosh. <laughs> so I'm gonna go ahead and hop off here so I can edit and all that stuff. We'll go outside in a little bit when it cools off a little bit more. It's hot. Hot, hot, hot. We were we will be doing a weekend vlog this weekend if I can remember to film. So I'll, I'll start that tomorrow. I mean Jesse's gonna go to Sam's Club and look at the Halloween stuff. Aren't we? No. Yeah, no, <laughs> we are. No, no, We're going no, in the morning. No, 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 and then Saturday, no, 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 no. hush, hush for a minute. <laughs> Saturday, Devin's work is having the um, family day thing that they had last year. I can't remember what they called it. It's like a fall festival thing. <laughs> Baba, set up and be good. Um. Um. So we'll be going to that and filming some there, hopefully. And then Sunday, I plan on, I'm planning on going to the movies on Sunday and watching the new Downton Abbey movie. But I'm going to be going by myself. So I'm going to have Jesse and Devin drop me off so I can watch the movie. And then they're going to go to like a park or something until I get done watching that movie. And yeah, it's going to be lots of fun. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so I guess I'll hop off here and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye, guys. Say bye. Bye. That's not a very heartfelt bye. You're supposed to say bye. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>